Hi, I am Nolo Vuiso Mpofu, known as Vuvu. I am a South African soprano and I sing opera. <laughs> I used to sing in church. My grandma actually encouraged me to sing solos in church. And then opera, I discovered in high school when I was actually a, a part of a, a school choral I stood for. Um, so I was part of the choir and we went to a competition and I sat in, in uh, listening to, to the competition and there was a, a, a category of um, soloists. And so there was this aria being sung. And for me, the drama, you know, the piano, the drama, the language, I didn't know that what the language was, but it was so intriguing. I was like, oh my God. And then I was like, I need to research what that is. You know, it, it just touched me in, 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 I don't, in a way that nothing else, you know, um, touched me before. And so I went to my teacher and asked, what was that? And then she was like, um, it's opera. And I actually went to my local library and tried to search Google um, um, what opera was, you know. And ever since then, I started researching, uh, asking my friends for, for to borrow me videos so I can watch at home. So, and then I, I remember my first video to watch, it was La Traviata, which, blew me away and it actually I fell in love it took my breath away I fell in love and the the, the soprano who was singing there was Angela Giorgio she's still my 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 idol at, at this time because she's amazing she's amazing I look up uh, up to her till now so that's when my love for opera started my mom didn't want me to to to, to go study music because she was worried that I'm not going to make any money and what happens if my voice just suddenly is gone and what happens next and you know if if your child has a passion for something you need to to, to allow them to 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 do that parents will be like uh, uh, maybe maths is good you know but yeah maths is good for someone who loves maths you know if your child wants to do arts you know want to sing want to act let them do that you know it's their passion it's what they want to do you know and and it, it will fulfill um their lives their their, their 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 whole being you know so it's just let them be being on stage being on stage performing is everything to me i uh, i love being on stage i love you know, I, I'm sharing my gift with people. I love it when someone comes to me after a performance saying, you've really touched my soul, you know. So this is why I do this. This is why I do this, to touch people's souls, you know. And um, and also traveling, traveling, I love traveling. <laughs> so, and, and experiencing uh, uh, new cultures, you know, and seeing the world, I, so, for me, um, I'm, I'm just happy doing what I do. I, I love it. I wouldn't um, change it for anything in the world. I still see my, my music teacher, Sarita Stern. Um, it is important to, to, to keep your voice going, you know, to, to, because yeah, the learning never stops. The technique, you know, it, you never stop learning t technique. You can't say, I've mastered it now. You know, you have to keep going, keep singing, you know, um, um, making sure that the, the voice is in the right place, you know. And, and also I have um, a manager, a manager who organizes uh, um, gigs for me, auditions. And it's important to have a manager in, in my line of work because um, I'm here, for instance, I'm, I'm in South Africa, and so it's important to have someone who has connections, uh, connections in Europe, you know, U the US, the UK. He organizes auditions and, uh, um, and, and work for me. And so, and it, auditions are important because that's where you get to, to that you get people to, um, 
to see you, to hear you, and, and also competitions as well. As a young singer, you have to enter competitions because that's where, uh, actually, yes, that's where you, you get exposed, you know, um, because there, every people from different uh, 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 opera houses, you know, they come to, to listen to young singers, and so that's important as well. So that's, that's where I started as well. I started doing competitions, and then that's when people recognized me, and then that's when I found my agent, actually, and then, um, and then I started working in, in opera houses. <laughs> My dream for arts education would be to introduce, you know, music or arts or whatever to, 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 to um, primary school, you know, at primary school level, to schools where arts uh, is, is not there, which is in the rural areas. They, they don't have that. Um, so for me, it, it, it would be something that I would like uh, uh, to, to happen, you know, um, because I know that uh, where I come from, um, it was only in high school I, I started uh, uh, to know about opera. So for me, it, it, it's something I, I would like to happen in the primary level, you know, so that people can, can uh, uh, children can learn about different kinds of music, different kinds of art forms, you know, and they, they can actually come and watch, you know, shows, you know, and, and just be uh, um, amazed by what uh, what's out there.